Franco Morbidelli sick? Well, let's hope he's over the worst now. He's had his knee surgery done and dusted. He's been cleared to race, but at present, still managing to cope with a knee injury that held him back considerably in the 2021 season. He has since received successful surgery on his knee, and we can't wait to see him back at full health on the racetracks. Everybody respected the amazing Franco Morbidelli, not just for his fantastic racing career, but his humble nature. One of the few riders who protested on the topic of racism, but everything went sideways, especially after the 2021 incident. But we'll cover more on his knee injury as we go through the video. Franco Morbidelli has had it rough, but he's always made it out with a smile every time, especially during his letdown in 2021. However, before the disappointment, he had been at the top of his game, fighting daily to defend his name. A humble and talented rider with many previous accomplishments and much more to accomplish. Did you know he was the 2017 Moto2 World Champion? There's more to Franco than meets the eye. All avid MotoGP fans will know how talented Franco is. He's without a doubt someone that will make it back to the top, but moreover, what would his latest knee injury cost him? And what was it about that specially designed helmet he wore for the 2020 season? Let's find out. Franco has been in the MotoGP spotlight for some time now. He's also a very humble guy, with a lot of respect from well-known riders. Franco was born in Rome to an Italian father and Brazilian mother. His father saw the potential he had from a young age. Still, because of his financial constraints, he could not fully support his son's racing career. But Graziano Rossi, an old racing champion and father to Valentino Rossi, alerted Franco's father of the Tavulia motorcycle training hotbed. His father chose to ensure that Franco would make it there. Franco's family sold their home and moved from Rome to Tavulia to support their son's racing career. Franco made his first Moto2 appearance doing wildcards in 2013. He was a full-time racer in the STK 600 Championship. He completed the season as class champion, which left him an opportunity to join the Ital Trans Racing Team as a full-time rider in Moto2. He raced with the team for the season of 2014 and 2015 and managed his best result of a fifth position in his debut season, together with eight top 10 finishes. Franco missed four races in 2015 after an injury, but that did not affect his overall finish. He still had a fantastic season finish with another eight top 10 finishes and a first podium in Indianapolis with the amazing Ital Trans machine. It was announced that Franco would join and ride with the vastly successful Mark VDS team for the 2016 and 2017 seasons. The team had a reputation for being at the top for multiple champions in the MotoGP class allowing him to realize his form in 2016. He completed eight podium finishes and 11 top five finishes in an amazingly steady season. The soaring finish in fourth place in the championship standings, but without a win. Franco did not have to wait long for his first, second, and third victory. He kicked off 2017 in style, and before a DNF in Jerez, he had already claimed his first three races. He won four out of five races afterward in Le Mans, making him undoubtedly the favorite for the season. Franco hugely dominated the season and by that time had made his way to the VR46 Riders Academy. He completed 2017 with 8 victories and 12 podiums, beating Thomas Lutti with 65 points for the title. Franco became the 2017 Moto2 World Champion after showing the world that he was nothing short of a spectacular racer, a force to be reckoned with. Franco moved up to MotoGP in 2018, still riding with the Mark VDS team. The team was not popular in MotoGP as much as it was in Moto2, but Morbidelli did manage to become the Rookie of the Year. Franco persisted in a challenging and very competitive MotoGP rookie season, gaining points in 13 of the 16 races with the best result of 8th place. His performance had him join the new Patronus SRT MotoGP team in 2019. The team was a replacement for the Tech 3 team after moving to KTM Machinery. The new team was not just another average, but one with great riders like Wilco Zielenberg and was very promising. Franco was under his teammate's shadow, Fabio Quattararo. The latter was at the team's top for his rookie season with multiple podiums. He still had a good season and exceeded expectations by taking an overall position of 10th in the standings with 11 top 10 finishes. His best achievement was 5th position, which he achieved 4 times. Franco started the 2020 season with a 5th position yet again. And yes, we did say we'd cover why he had a specifically designed helmet for one of the 2020 season's race events. He was in many people's eyes during the event because of his specially designed helmet. 
His helmet had the word equality written all over it in various languages, which is a way of saying everyone is the same. He commented on the design and stated that he designed the helmet with racism in mind, as it had been a major topic. He also wanted to give 2020 a huge hug because of all the terrible things the world faced in the same year. Franco became the first rider in the paddock to comment on equality in 2020. After many protests pushing for equality, he earned a lot of respect from outside and within the paddock. He hugged 2020 and it hugged him back by giving him his first victory and the MotoGP at Misano. After leading all the race laps, he completed the race and remained as humble as ever by calling himself only a satellite rider even after winning the MotoGP race. His form that season led him to finish the year in second position in the championship. The same four rose him to the top leading contenders for the glory of the 2021 title. But his season went downhill after he injured his knee. So let's talk about that knee injury. Franco's knee injury left him with no choice but to undergo surgery, hoping he would be able to make it back to the racetracks in a reasonable time. His operation went successfully, but he would have to go for an eight-week rehabilitation. The surgery lasted an hour, and the surgeons tried to repair his anterior cruciate ligament and meniscus. He stayed in the hospital under observation for a while. Franco had injured his left knee during a training session earlier in the week. He was therefore ruled out of the Dutch TT at Assen held that weekend. The eight-week break meant that Franco would sit out two rounds at the Austria Red Bull ring. The races were held on back-to-back -back weekends from August 8th to August the 15th. He commented on his accident and stated that since it was not the first time he'd injured his knee, he, together with the VR46 Academy and Yamaha SRT, decided to take action and solve the issue once and for all. While undergoing surgery, the only thing going through his mind was returning to the racetracks in the best form at the earliest time and giving 100% performance on the bike. What a determined racer! He was very eager to get back on his bike and what's more, he would miss his team, bike and fans for the period. But that would not be the end for him. Garrett Gerloff replaced Franco for the Assen race over the weekend. After the surgery, what's next? Franco was able to make a recovery. During his rehabilitation, it was announced that for the rest of 2021, he would be moved to the factory Yamaha team. He would begin from Misano all through 2022 as Maverick's replacement, who had left the team to join Aprilia early in August. Andre De Vizioso took over Franco's position at the satellite Yamaha team when he returned after doing some test rides for Aprilia. The doctors declared Franco healthy enough to return to the racetracks, and he did with a new bike after sitting out five race weekends. His performance clearly indicated this when he only finished twice in the points in the final five races of the season and closed the year in position 17th in the standings, gaining 47 points. Franco partnered with reigning champion and old teammate Fabio Quattararo for the MotoGP World Championship in 2022 as motor racing team members of Factor Monster Yamaha. Here are some interesting facts about Franco Morbidelli. Number one, his zodiac sign is Sagittarius. Number two, people often mistake him for Giancarlo Morbidelli's relative, who founded the Morbidelli brand of motorcycles. Number three, in 2013, Rossi set up the VR46 Riders Academy. Morbidelli became Rossi's first academy member that year and went on to win the 2017 Moto2 World Championship leaving him also the first rider to achieve such a victory with the VR46 Academy training. Number 4. Morbidelli also won the European Superstock 600 Championship in 2013. Number 5. As much as Franco is a football and basketball fan, he would never choose that path. Number 6. When Franco loses the race, he watches TV and eats chocolate to remove the frustration. Number 7. Franco's father was also a fantastic bicycle racer and runner-up in the Italian National Championships personal life. Franco was born in Rome on December 4, 1994, Italy's capital. His father was an Italian named Livio Morbidelli, and his mother was a Brazilian lady named Cristina de Franco. He doesn't appear to be dating anyone as of now, and if he is, his relationship is behind closed doors. His net worth. Franco is currently a member of the Monster Energy Yamaha team, with a salary of $57,700 weekly, which amounts to $3 million a year. His net worth as of 2021 was estimated to be $1.5 million, all from his endorsements, sponsorships, and amazing racing career. Social media Franco is not missing out from the social media scene. 
He is on Twitter and at present has 109.4 thousand followers and growing. His Instagram at present has 657 thousand followers, which is growing daily and he always tries his best to keep engaged. Franco Morbidelli has had an amazing rise into MotoGP, with victories always written on the cards. Let's hope he'll continue to claim more of them victories. Be sure to check out Moto Plus for more fantastic videos. See you there!